welcome back to another reset on my channel you guys and welcome back to our first reset of 2023 i'm just going to be sharing some of the healthy habits that i am implementing into my routine for this year this is going to be somewhat of a soft launch to my typical reset so if you guys enjoyed today's video do not forget to like comment and subscribe So you guys, here we are doing our first reset of the new year and I could not be more excited to start fresh with you guys and just really put our best foot forward for 2023. I know for a lot of us, a lot has happened in 2022 and I personally am ready to leave all of that behind and really just invest in myself and just really make 2023 my year. I honestly have so many goals and things that I want to accomplish this year, both in my personal life and career wise. I just, I feel so motivated and I really hope that if you guys have not been feeling motivated that this video today will just help you kind of refresh your mind and I also just want to remind you guys that you don't need a whole bunch of things you don't need the perfect equipment you don't need the perfect life you don't need the perfect aesthetic you don't need the perfect apartment to finally start whatever it is that you've been wanting to start whatever it is that you've been procrastinating on the time to start is now it's a fresh year and a new start so right now is the perfect moment so as I mentioned at the beginning of today's video I will be sharing some of the healthy habits that I personally will be implementing going into 2023 and I know a lot of times if you're like me goals when you set them at the beginning of the year can become very overwhelming especially if you don't exactly have a plan of how to execute them so I personally have decided to invest in myself and invest in my goals by taking an online course inside of Skillshare called the 21 days of purposeful productivity and in this course I've been learning to not only set goals that are a little bit more challenging than what I would normally set but also how to set daily habits that actually help me get towards that goal I feel like a lot of us around this time of year set huge huge milestones and huge huge new year's resolutions without actually knowing how to create a path to get to those goals and those milestones so this course like I said is available in Skillshare Skillshare is sponsoring today's video so thank you so much Skillshare um, but this course is by Mike D who's actually a productivity coach and the way he breaks everything down is just very easy to understand if you're not interested in this specific course Skillshare Skillshare does have over thousands of different courses that are available and if you guys are interested Skillshare is offering a 30-day free trial to the first thousand people that use my link so make sure you guys click my link in the description box I will have all of the information as well as the specific course that I'm taking now is the perfect time to invest in yourself with a Skillshare membership you can engage in your hobbies and passions all year long and it's honestly the perfect way to start and finally keep your new year's resolutions make 2023 the year you perfect a new creative hobby land a new career or launch your business try out a risk-free 30-day trial and test it out yourself. Make sure you guys check out my link in the description box and remember that the first thousand people to use my link get a free 30-day trial and once again thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. One of the habits that I will feel absolutely proud to implement into my daily routine is getting some movement in every day. I always forget how good I feel after I get a good stretch or have a nice walk and just really take time to move my body, not only for my physical health, but for my mental health. I feel like a lot of times my mind is kind of cagey and just really cluttered. And I find any time that I take time to stretch or do some sort of like beginner yoga or really just to do anything physical, it really does translate into my mental so I really do want to have some discipline and actually incorporate some sort of movement no matter what it is into my daily routine. And I really just am excited to see what kind of changes that will make not only in my body but also in my mood. As I get closer to 30, I have started to notice some changes and some shifts in my body and I have just become a little bit more aware of what my body needs and how important it is for me to fill the gaps of nutrients and just to really take better care of myself physically and so not only am I on a weight loss journey I'm on an overall health journey you guys. I have honestly had these vitamins and supplements since before I moved into this apartment and really have not been consistent with taking them so I am going to hold myself to taking them every day and just being more strict with that because I do want to take care of myself I do want another kid in the future and so I just want to make sure I'm at my best health not only for me but for my kids and my future kids. In addition I am not the hugest water drinker so I do want to change that as well 
well by just drinking water more often even when I am really not that thirsty, just making it a habit to have some nearby. I'm already pretty good about just being aware of my space and keeping it tidy. However, a lot of times during this time of year, I will let my Christmas decor linger and then I just kind of feel like it just, I don't know, I just feel like I don't really get all the fresh start that I really could be getting by taking down my Christmas decor. So I'm going to go ahead and take it down. I was going to leave it up into the new year, but I just, I don't know, I just feel like I really just need to reset my space. I plan on rearranging some furniture, getting some new home decor, because if you y'all didn't know I really didn't have much home decor before I put up my Christmas stuff so I'm kind of ready to have a clean slate so I can really start purchasing more um, of like the permanent things that will go on my table and just like around my apartment when I do not have any type of holiday decor out because I really went hard with like Christmas decor and I had a couple of fall pieces out but I really just wanted to get everything wiped down and put away into our storage so that going into the new year I could focus on actually furnishing my home which is actually one of my goals for next year so I just needed to go ahead and get rid of the Christmas stuff I was sad to see it go but it feels so good to have a nice fresh like simple apartment So coming into a new year, I'm sure we all did a whole bunch of decluttering and getting rid of stuff that we don't want and you guys will see a little bit more of like regular decluttering of like clothes and other closets in upcoming videos. However, in this video, I just really wanted to focus on my pantry because I am trying to hit the ground running with my healthy journey and healthy eating and it was just going to be really difficult if I kept all of this stuff in the pantry like this because I really couldn't see what we had. We also had just hosted Christmas Eve and everyone had left all of pretty much everything that they brought. So we had not only our groceries that we normally had but a whole bunch of extra stuff and I hadn't even grocery shopped yet So I really wanted to take time to redo the pantry and honestly I feel like it was just good for me to take everything out anyway because I hadn't really wiped down the cabinets in the pantry since we moved in honestly So I just put everything out and just Murray Kondo I don't even know if that's really what I'm doing here But I just put everything out y'all and wipe down the cabinets put everything back into the container and just kind of reorganize how everything is set up so that when I did grocery shop it was a lot easier to see what we had and what we didn't have and also I got rid of a lot of the foods that tempt me okay I'm not gonna lie I need to make sure that I am setting myself up for success so that's a lot of what this was about as well is making sure that there was nothing in the pantry that was going you know lead me to want to eat it and I'm not supposed to be so that's pretty much what I decided to do here and this is gonna be the last thing that we do in this video because um, I like I said this is a little bit more of a soft launch into my normal Sunday recess you guys know that we go in okay most Sundays but today we're just gonna take it easy and just have like a very realistic approach to resetting for the new year and like I said you guys will see more of decluttering in future videos to come I also wanted to take a second to plug y'all in on some cheap organizational bins and containers. I know that this type of stuff can get super expensive, especially if you're shopping at like mainstream stores. Well, I shouldn't say mainstream, but you know, the more expensive stores like the Container Store and Target. However, if y'all have a DD's near you, DD's Discount, it's a sister store of Ross. I highly recommend go checking them out. These square bins, I got each of them for $2.99. $2.99 and they're just the same quality as the other bins that I have that were a little bit more expensive I'm definitely going to be going to get some more I just kind of wanted to grab what I knew I needed but I do plan on doing like an official very much aesthetic redo of my pantry and my fridge where I get different containers label everything and I'm very excited about that so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but those bins I got from DD's as well as these little canisters they came in a three pack for $9.99 so if you're on a budget y'all do not be afraid to go shop at DD's they have a lot of good stuff when it comes to like containers and organizational things they are definitely a good place to go if you do not have a lot of money to work with or if you just don't want to spend a lot of money on that kind of thing because nobody's going to see it anyway so definitely go check out DD's and Ross because they for sure have a lot of these type of containers but yeah like I said that's the end of today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys are excited for future resets and just all the content to come
come. So I love y'all so much. Thank you for staying tuned to the end if you did, and I will see you in the next video.